Hey guys, it's my pleasure to introduce to you some of the brushes that you will see tomorrow, Friday, November 22nd at 7 p.m. at my brush drop. You'll see these listed on Etsy. The link's going to be in the description below. If you miss this drop, be sure to favorite the Etsy shop so that you can be notified for future drops and future listings of brushes that I create. Anyways, enjoy uh, this video and we'll see you at the brush drop. Again, that's tomorrow, Friday, uh, November 22nd, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shaving with Rich. I'm excited for this episode today because I'm gonna be shaving with a new soap in my den, Star Odyssey by First Line Shave. Really looking forward to this uh, this soap right here. So uh, this is their newer base right here, and it's supposed to be a take on Versace Eros, which is one of my favorite colognes. I love it. it smells fantastic. Mmm, good, good, good. So when I heard that this was a take on this. I got all over it so a little bit late on the video but I'm excited for it so it does smell good uh, definitely not disappointed is it an exact replica copy of the scent I would say that it isn't but it's very good very good so if you like this you will like this that's what I would say so and it, it's really hard to get a dead-on uh, replica of scents because there's, you know, different things that are components, in, you know, in this that are not in this. So, anyways, but, uh, yes, I enjoy this scent. And if you like Versace Eros, I'm sure you'll also enjoy this. So, I'm looking forward to the shave. I'm going to be using... This Blood Oath brush right here, if you can see, got a razor blade and we got some blood in there, called the Blood Oath. Um, there's actually gonna be a, a few of these dropped um, tomorrow. So anyways, this is a 30 millimeter Ultralux. It is a enormous knot, very luxurious, just to give you a size comparison. Before this brush is soaked, that's what you're looking at so it's pretty awesome all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak this brush I'm gonna get it ready and then let's see here I'm gonna do a bowl lather but to keep this short or shorter I'm actually gonna bowl lather off camera come back and we'll try and keep this video a little bit shorter than my other videos so all right, we'll see you in just a second with an amazing lather, a soaked brush, and we'll be ready to go. Before we do that, let me just show you the razor I'll be shaving with. This is my Copper Charcoal Goods Level 2 uh, razor, and this is with the Stinger handle. Right there, you see the B on there and the beehive in the handle. Uh, I'm really stoked i've got the blade set in it already this week in my group we are having uh choose uh choose my blade week so um i put a poll up in the group and of all the blades this was the clear winner gillette nasset uh so i've got one of those loaded up and ready to go that will be my blade for this week and i'm excited for the shave all right let's get to it all right, so we're back. We got this great lather. This is what I made. Take a look. This is a giant bowl. It's about the size of my head. Uh, so there is a lot of good lather in there. It's going to be fantastic. I'm really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. And here is my brush. Now, one thing I got to tell you about the Ultralux knot it's probably one of my, it is my softest badger knot for sure. It's incredibly soft. It's very dense. 
uh, it doesn't have as much of a backbone as my like my F1 Innovator or my S or either my finest innovators or my silver tip innovators but it does it is very luxurious it holds a lot of water so let me uh, show you really quickly just how much water one of these holds that's from where like it I mean it's a lot so you have to be careful because this can easily uh, that much water <clears throat> in a brush if you don't uh, just squeeze the water out before you lather that water could easily uh, take out take out a potential lather by just drowning it but anyways it's got a nice splay on it a nice feel very soft very luxurious and it is incredible so anyways 30 millimeter is probably bigger than a lot of people may want but some people they they love it it's all personal preference but I mean this thing is huge <laughs> it's gonna be fun it is going to be fun I haven't done anything for my pre-shave at all zero but um, I'll just kind of wet the face a little bit here and uh, this is a good um, soap formula soap base so I'm really not even that uh, you know worried about it so I'm just gonna dip this <laughs> look at that one pass all right let's shave <laughs> very nice a very luxury film I got more I mean depends on how thick you want the lather So this base has good post shave properties as well. So I'm looking forward to that. All right. So no pre-shave on this, but I'm not too concerned. Break out the charcoal goods level two plate. Let's get to it. Nasset blade. It's taking down all that growth with ease. Really, really like these uh, Nasset blades, Nasset. I don't know if it's Nasset or Nasset, but. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato, right? Important thing is that you just enjoy your shave. Take a few minutes out of the day for yourself. You earned it. I'm sure. Don't we all? Don't we all? All right. Here we go. My last video I caught myself right here because I, I was doing too much talk and I was shaving fast you know gotta be careful even if you're experienced
everybody gets reminders from time to time. Yeah, I know, I know you know this razor, and I know you're skilled with it, but respect the steel. Respect the steel. All right. So. Put it on just kind of like a light layer. Or you can always pull from the brush. So this is a wet, uh, a little bit more wet lather, slick lather. And, uh, you know, it's nice. Great pull shape feel. And uh, you can dial in your soaps however you want. There's not, you know, one best way necessarily some people like them thin a little bit more uh, hydrated and slick and some people like them with a little bit more cushion so they'll have a little bit more uh, dense lathers the important thing is is that you enjoy your shave and that you get a quality shave so I would maybe, uh, yeah. And I love lather mittens, so I've been rocking lather mittens for some time now. Three or four years. And I love how you got lather in the hand and you can just feel on your face, you know, you know, you can feel where you need to pick that up. And once you've felt it, there's already lather on your face and ready to go. It's a good way to do it. Feeling really good. Also, when you shave this way, you are going to get a great shave. Because, I mean, you can feel everything on your face. You're going to find the spots, like, immediately. Just, like, instant feedback, I, I guess is what I'd say. So there's a lot of slickness here. I know you're not seeing it on camera, but trust me. It's a great way to get a fantastic shave, I'm telling you. See, you can hear it. Got to be careful around this area when you're on camera and talking. It's an easy way to get yourself cut. All right. That is fantastic. 
really good. I got tons of lather left. A lot, I mean, there's a lot left in my brush. There's a lot left in the bowl. <clears throat> and tell you what, I got a great idea. I'm gonna wash my face off with this. Luxurious brush. There you go, all the lather's gone. <laughs> there's still so much residual slickness in the soap it's incredible I love this base um, it's definitely not gonna disappoint I mean I can do it if I want easily I could do a whole nother pass with no soap uh, I could do pickups literally with no soap just residual slickness If I wanted to go for like beyond BBS. Anyways, like it's incredible. This stuff, I like the base a lot. And the scent is good too. Again, I wouldn't say that the scent on it is a 100% exact match on the scent but I like the scent and it's close enough that you know if you like Versace Eros then you'll like this scent because it's you know they're close enough all right let me uh dry the face off real quick I mean, I wouldn't even need a post-shave product, to be honest with you. Like, the face feel right now on my skin, it feels very good, very hydrated. But, I've got it, so I'm going to rock it, and I'm going to do it. Look how cool that is. I love the packaging. I love the packaging. First Line Shave has packaging and presentation down. Fantastic. Uh... There you go. Smells good. There you go. Incredible. Incredible. No irritation. It's great. No nicks, no weepers. And the Poe shave is out of this world. It's incredible. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Shaving with Rich. I tried to keep it a little bit uh, shorter, uh, but it's almost impossible for it to be a short video with me. But I'm working on it. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave me some comments. If you made it all the way through this video and you really enjoyed it let me know in the comments below pound the like button and uh, we'll see you in the next shaving with rich episode take care guys